The Trap Door is a computer game published for the ZX Spectrum, Amstrad CPC and Commodore 64 in 1986 by Piranha Games. It was written by Don Priestley and based on the British children's television show of the same name. Gameplay In the trap door, the player takes control of Burke, who must perform tasks for the thing upstairs, a never-seen entity who lives in the upper floors of the castle where Burke works. In order to help him complete his task, Burke must make use of the many objects lying around his part of the castle as well as the creatures that emerge from the trap door. Burke is assisted by Boney, a talking skull, who provides hints when picked up. He is also somewhat hindered by a frog who loves eating worms. Gameplay is largely based around puzzle solving and the use and manipulation of the many objects littered around Burke's chambers. Burke will also need help from some of the strange creatures that lurk in the caverns under the trap door and these creatures can often be as much a hindrance as a help as well as downright dangerous. Once Burke has finished taking advantage of a creature's assistance, he also has to find a way of making sure it goes back down the trap door. The game has two different skill levels, Learner Burke and Super Burke. The difference is that Super Burke mode includes flying ghosts that appear a set time after each task is announced. The ghosts hinder the player's progress by attacking Burke, sending him spinning into another room if he doesn't manage to avoid them. The game can only be completed in Super Burke mode. The music was composed by David Dunn. Topic. Critical reaction The game was runner-up for Best Original Game of the Year at the Golden Joystick Awards. Topic. Sequel The Trap Door was followed by a sequel in 1987 called Through the Trap Door, also written by Priestley and published by Piranha. This sequel was a multi-level platform game in which the player could switch between controlling Burke and Drutt. Topic. See also Flunky